What the fuck? Yo! 69 god ass nigga, man. What are you doing? <laughs> this nigga is weird, bro. Uh, uh, oh shit. I'm not gonna lie. Like Choji holding his own. Oh my god, caught him. Okay, Choji. Okay, Choji cook, little bro. Damn. He a acrobat. Yeah, he's like a better performing soccer. Yo. This nigga kind of smart, man. <laughs> he got IQ for real, bro. This nigga too sturdy. Shit. That nigga Choji is a talent for real. Your punches are like he ain't got no he ain't got no weight to him, man. Or he want to continue to fight. He ain't fighting seriously. Of course. It's because you ain't fighting for nothing, man. He gonna fuck around and break his hands. Damn. Choji, bro. <laughs> Chill. Shit. <laughs> there we go, Choji. Oh, my God, bro. He's knocked out. He's gone. He's not getting back up. Nah, he is, though. I know that shit hurt. He face planted his ass. And who put this freedom shit in your head? I mean, he's not a goddamn thing. Beating on people and fighting. Being the strongest person. That boy stressed for real. Because he lost, man. That's what I've been saying for the past several episodes. He lost. Why even pity the team, though? Like, I feel like we don't even need to pity the team. The team made their choice. <laughs> They chose to be with this bum ass nigga. Like, bro, I'm not pitying none of them, bro. They all chose this, bro. Didn't nobody tell them to be like this, man. Y'all chose to be like this. Fuck. He rocking this man for real. Fatherless activities right here, bro. <laughs> Fatherless activities, bro. Bro, sound like you scream. Fuck. This nigga is weird, bro. <laughs> That's a clean shot, though, but this nigga is weird, bro. What, like, bro, I, we need, bro, just hit me with the backstory already. Why is he so weird like this? Yeah, dry-ass desert. That nigga lonely for real. Nigga didn't dry out all his friendships. Friends? What was the point of him joining this game anyway? Yeah, he's a crash out. He lost his mind, bro. Now he just about to attack recklessly. Oh my god. Umi Mia, fight back! Just don't don't let him just do this! He gonna tire himself out at some point. Umi Mia is winning the fight for real because he ain't even... He said his punch is light! You were that desperate? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! 69 god ass nigga, man. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga leaving hickeys on his neck, bro. We supposed to be fighting, not sexing, nigga. Yo, this looks so sus. Yo, if you don't get this little kid off you, it was all a misunderstanding. Damn, he was young as hell. So they fought before. Let's fight again sometime. Okay, what the fuck happened? Because he had a friend group, man. This nigga got lost in the sauce. Through the power of leadership, Umi Mia has won the fight. Through the power of little broing a nigga, he has won. Not just knee him in the face, bro. What you saw back then, that's what you need now. Okay, what the what the fuck did he see? What what did what was he seeing? Just just another day to fight, another day to live. What was he seeing, bro? Cause like y'all not really telling us. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm thinking his friends. He got a whole bunch of friends around him. You know they just kicked everybody in the gang out for real, for real, and took their jackets. So like, what's up? You know? Like what what is he missing? Oh, head butt of death. He just Naruto that man. Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hey, he kept his promise, Sakura. They look happy because, I don't know, y'all had friendship. Y'all had love for each other. Companionship. You didn't turn these niggas to a pack of fucking animals, bro. You got no discipline. You want to be our leader. Sound like he the leader already. Nah, these niggas goofy as hell. I don't know, man. They seem too damn goofy to be a serious-ass gang, bro. But I guess that's really how it is with all friendships, right? Yeah, you kicked them out, bro. He distanced himself from everybody. Isolated himself for real. Yeah. Wait, is that glass or is it ice? How the fuck ice turns into a desert? Yeah. This nigga didn't fail through. Oh, well, police Kame chan is there to pick up the pieces. <laughs> Man, they got no shoes on. <laughs> I lost to Mei. Everyone else is smiling, having fun. I have fun too. 
Smile. There we go. I was getting back to the old days. These niggas was putting on fake personas and shit. Nah, nah, nah. You did not leave that man alone. He chose this. He chose to isolate himself. He chose to dry up his desert. Don't do that. Don't do that. That man chose to kick all y'all out. He chose. Again, you chose too. But nah, you ain't just leave that man. You stuck beside him. And then that nigga just, <laughs> that nigga just spiral kicked your ass to the curtains. How y'all ain't know this nigga was suffering, bro? Y'all seen his face. Man, you shattered your own dreams. Ah, oh, shit. He was trying to piece the piece, piece it back together. They friendship. You the one? Wait, Tomo. You're the problem, too. You see, it's two people in here who you just kicked out. <laughs> like, three. For real, for real. You, you like, bro, y'all are both the issue. Man said, I was trying to piece it back together. Nuh uh. Not that episode when you was beating on them two in the corner and then ripped the jackets off of them. You told that one dude he was trash and then you said, bro, you could just leave him anywhere. <laughs> nah, man, you're not getting out of this easy, bro. Y'all not about to re revisionist history me. Why he sound like you know, scared? Maybe he's like a front you to make my feelings now. He did try to talk to him, but bro, like, was like, nah. He he told you, bro, you, taught, you tried to talk to him, but he told you, like, Bro, if you ain't following me, then get the fuck on. Like, he literally said that last episode. Like, like I know I'm not remembering this wrong. I remember that. You know what I'm saying? And then you literally took that. You got scared, and you was like, fuck it. All right, well, you, you told him to smile. It's ironic, because now he's telling you to smile. You told him to smile. You know what I'm saying? And you was like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be, what do you say? I'll be the snake that cut the head or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll trim the snakes or something like that trim the heads or whatever i believe if i took a rock i have more fun than anyone uh okay that was senseless you know and, and see that's why i'm all like bro it feel like he was way more free when he wasn't the leader bro he should have never became the leader because he would have been way more free you know what i'm saying when you when you the leader you got so much responsibility umamiya knows about that responsibility that's why he's the head you know what i'm saying he can handle that he folded under the pressure of leadership bro that's what it really is you fold it bro you know like, you should have never became the leader, bro, because you was really, like, honestly, all of this is telling us is he was just more free at the bottom, you know, which is which is kind of somewhat true. Not always, but it's somewhat true. Like, if this is a power play about money, then, yeah, you probably more free when you got money, but even that is limited, you know, because even they say, like, yo, happiness and all that, like, you... You know what I'm saying? You might be more happy, you know what I'm saying? And feel kind of more free a little bit if you when you broke than when you rich. You feel me? Because more money, more problems. But we ain't going to get into all that. <laughs> it was empty. <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo, see, he needed another goal. That's what it was, bro. Like, man, it's so many people that talk about, like, once they hit that goal, you know what I'm saying? That's when they start feeling empty. You need other things to do, bro. He should have had other goals. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty good um analogy though. On like trying to tell you in life, bro, after you like hidden after you reach that goal, you gonna have you need to have other things that occupy you because you might become you might feel empty, you know, once you get it. Or you might realize, yo, nothing really changed. I just reached the goal. You feel me? Like, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of a this kind of fire though. This is kind of a fire lesson that they teaching us, right? Like the way they explaining it through this, through his story. They didn't know what was wrong. I was struggling. Yeah, he wasn't being a man, bruh. That should have been his goal right there. His his goal should have been shouldn't have went to okay. Well, I'ma just shut everybody out. His goal should have been like okay, I'ma bring my team up with me, cause that's what a leader does, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you know you got runners that that's you know what I'm saying you only as strong as your weakest link. That's why you weak. That's why Umiya like bro, your punch is light. You are an amazing fire fighter, but bro, from then on his goal should be like, all right, bro, I got to the top. I'm the leader now. Time to bring y'all up with me, but to the level that I'm on with with this power. You feel me? You know he didn't enrich his people, man. I used to laugh my heart out with them. Happy little bunch, man. Nigga lost his glow in his eye. Yeah. yeah uh, shit. Damn. That little nigga is strong. <laughs> it's my fault. Well, at least he's taking responsibility now. That was a horrible attempt at keeping them connected. He was just as bad as you, for real. Crying like some little babies. Some little losers. Some snot-nosed losers. So they still kicked out, though? Because, like, they was bullying a, a middle schooler. You're not finna win this fight. He's taking off his jacket? 
the fuck you want that shit for? Okay. Imagine he just tossed that bitch. Y'all all leaving. Oh my god, here we go. I want that shit. <laughs> Alright, he never wanted y'all weak ass teams to begin with. A bunch of losers. Man, then he gotta manage them. Like, imagine managing niggas who don't know who don't got self-control, bruh. Who just as bad as him. Like, I like I don't even know if they gonna change after this for real. You know what I'm saying? Like they could get they could still have runners who still doing terrible things and just being bad influences you know to themselves and to the, to the rest of your peers you know so you need to fix this situation no nah, you need to put that jacket back on and fix this shit then leave nigga if you want to you know but even then if you leave they could possibly go back to being some fucking juvenile delinquents nah you need to fix this situation yourself nigga talking about some here with me yeah, bro no 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 i don't want to clean up your shit <laughs> I want to clean up your mess, nigga. Be a man, bitch. <laughs> We're all friends. Today's fight was like a get together. It's fucking Asian cookout and shit. Everybody go home. Umimiya style. Okay. I like the name of that episode. Umimiya style. Umimiya style. Saying like that didn't happen. Um. Yeah. Well, good to see that the team's all good and back, and I guess they're gonna be friends and uh move forward with uh their lives because uh yeah let me be a well not only me but choji and his team clearly needed to be needed to be checked you know choji was just an idiot i'm not gonna lie he, he was kind of dumb but i mean it's understandable he's a kid he doesn't really know any better he's a high schooler you know and they live in the red light district like i've been saying <laughs> like the past two three episodes can't really expect much from them um but at least Umi Mia has a good head on his shoulders, you know. That tells me that he comes from a good family or he was just raised well. You know, Choji, I'm just wondering, like, who the fuck is his parents? Like, I feel like Choji is adopted or, like, in an orphanage or something like that. Like, I feel like a lot of them in Lion's Head is probably... Nah, some of them some of them look like they come from good homes. Like, them two that got kicked out as best friends, I feel like y'all come from good homes. Especially since y'all backstory is way different, like, you know. You know, but, uh, yeah. W episode... You know what I'm saying? Good to see Choji change himself. Um, not gonna lie, I did really like the 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 premise of what they were trying to tell tell us uh, with that with that storyline, bro. You always kind of you can't just be stuck on you know the goal that you're trying to get to, bro. You have to have other things in your life that is um, fulfilling you. Cause he wasn't fulfilled. That's really what it was. That's the what the words are looking for. He was he wasn't fulfilled, bro. You know, he should have had more stuff fulfilling him other than just fighting and being a nuisance and all that other shit. So, yeah. Um, y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Consider subscribing, dropping a like if you enjoyed. If you haven't noticed, I got a new camera. You feel me? New setup, new mic. I've been had this stuff. I just didn't put it together. Um, but now I bought like a few extra things so then I could put everything together. So, you know, reactions going to be in 4K now and shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Your reactions going to be looking crispy. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Um, other than that, appreciate y'all for watching. Subscribe, drop a like if you enjoy. And uh yeah. More reactions to come, bro. You know what I'm saying? More reactions to come.